Hello and welcome. My name is Yves Burkhardt. Today I stand here in front of this DNE LC3. This uh, machine is equipped with a six kilowatt fiber laser. Let's go on the back side of the machine to have a look. So here we see our shuttle table. So as you can see, it's very easy. We just can take away those screws to remove the cutting grids. That's very easy. And we have a two level shuttle table, which means one table is on top and one on bottom. That's now the upper one. The lower one is inside the machine. Here we have our electric cabinet that's completely built inside the machine. Let me just open it from the other side. So inside the electric we have a unit and as well here we have a switch to um, put your machine to the internet to have access from outside to the machine if needed for maintenance reasons. Here on the back side of the machine we have a cooling unit and our resonators. As you can see, all the cables connections are going over the top, so nothing is on the floor because we want to stay really flexible with this machine and keep a very small footprint. Of course, all those equipment could be as well on the uh, left or right hand on the machine or as well on the top. So let's have a look on the front of the machine. Here, as I mentioned before, the lower table is inside the machine. Here we have the positioning system, which is clamping our table um, on the top or on the bottom, depending. We have a brush to clean our nozzle, calibration plate. Here we have our cutting head. As you can see, it's very, very narrow, so we are avoiding collisions. And here we have a protective glass, so when we are cutting, that the material that is going up is not going on our lens. We have this protective glass here. So let me take it out for you. So here we can take that protective glass out, of course, which each machine, you get two of those. So if you have a problem, you remove this and you straight away enter the clean and new one. Afterwards, of course, you will just replace the glass inside the cassette, not the entire cassette, of course. So let's close that again. Here we can see the bridge is out of aluminum. We have a cantry system, which means we have left and right of the machine a motor. As well for the Y-axe, we have a motor and for with a rack and pinions. And for um, the Z-axe, we have a spindle. What is happening while we are cutting? All the trash is falling down in those kind of bins. So it's very simple to remove the trash after the cutting. One important feature of this machine is this hand control. With this hand control, you can operate um, the cutting head so you can do a manual cut or change the point of origin of this machine. So that was everything or a little bit about this machine. And now I want to show you a short uh, movie about our human interface, the DNA vision cutting. So that's our DNA vision cutting. Let's straight away get started. So here we have different operator. Each operator has his login with his own rights. So first tab is our job list or the jobs that we have to cut from top to the bottom. Here we have the cutting. We'll look at this later. First, we have a job that has already been cut successful. That's why it's a green hook. So this job, we can move them up and down to change the order. Of course, I need to add a job to the job list. I quickly press add, search my folder, choose a file. Here on the bottom, I have the preview of the cutting plan and the sheet format. So I will add this to my job list. Obviously, that's on the very bottom. Let me drag it up to be on the top to have the priority. So I need to adjust the parameters or to add a parameter. So we're going to cut this in two millimeters stainless steel. We're going to adjust the function. So we'll switch on an edge detection, um, change the micro joints first, add them and change them to programmed. We will put a stop inside. So we will stop before part number two. So we just cut part number one and then check the quality, then go to part number two. So we can edit the jobs as well. That's our job editor. So we have three parts on this plans. Let me add one part 
from another plan. So we have that part, drag it in. Everything is ready because we have collisions. We turn apart, shift it up until we have no collisions. Everything is great, perfect. Let's check where we have micro joints. Let's add a micro joint to the small part. Let's put in automatically some skeleton cuts. And I want to cut off the top skeleton ones, so it will not cut the top lines, cut them off, go back, save my cutting plan. And I think we are ready to start. Everything is set up. Press play, material is loaded. We go to our cutting um, tab. Here we can zoom in to see the scrap extraction, the skeleton cuts. If we want to adjust our cutting parameters, we can just check which color is where. So green is the small contours, orange the um, big contours and so on. So it's very, very easy to change the parameters and adjust them. The functions, the same thing. We can change them and adjust them while cutting in real time, of course. And uh, that was a quick overview of this software. I hope you enjoyed it. So now after that, we had a look on the machine and the human interface. We will go into application, so we'll do some real life cutting. Um, for this part, we'll straight away move back to the machine. So now we are here in front of this DNE LC3 machine and we will do some test cuts in 20 millimeter mild steel, 4 millimeter stainless steel and 1 millimeter mild steel. Let's cut some parts. We will switch the camera inside the machine and then we will have a look together at the parts. Twenty millimeters. So the most important, of course, is the piercing. That looks quite good. And now while cutting, we can see that the cut is really beautiful. Um, we are cutting here at 900 millimeters per minute and we are using about 0 0.7 bar to cut um, these parts. We will have a look at the part at the at the end of this session. Four millimeter stainless steel. So here um, we are doing as well some separation cuts that the trash is falling down so we won't have any collisions. And uh, the speed here is about eight meters per minute and we are using 10 bars of nitrogen. one millimeter mild steel. So here we can really see the dynamics and the speed of this machine. It's uh, quite fast. And as well, uh, what we can see over here is um, many places will lose scrap destruction, which means we first cut lines and then the outside contour. So everything falls down to avoid collisions. You will see at the end part, um, there's really a lot of cutouts and uh, that's really, really fast here. We are on 42 meters per minute and we are using nine bars of nitrogen. So let's have a look how those parts look like that we just cut. So let's start with the 
20 millimeter mild steel. It's a beautiful cut, as you can see, the edge is perfect. Really nice. Here we have our stainless steel as well, quite a nice and shiny edge. And at the end, our one millimeter mild steel. Here we saw all the destruction uh, cuts that we made, so the parts didn't stand up and we have no collision, so we have a perfect production. Here as well, one of the smaller parts where we can see how precise the edges are and the contours, beautiful. So, of course, we can cut as well now. We have cut with oxygen and nitrogen, but we can cut as well on this machine with compressed air. That's especially interesting in thinner materials. Um, it's, a, it's a very interesting feature. Thank you very much and see you another time.